back to my channel. Today I have created this really fancy schmancy makeup look. I feel like it's great for any parties that you want to go to or New Year's or I don't know if it's your birthday and you just want to kind of take it up a notch. This is the perfect look for somebody who doesn't have too much experience with creating different eyeshadow looks. I made it so simple so that anybody can do it. So if you guys want to learn how to get this look, just keep on watching. Anyway guys, I totally forget to mention this every single time. Any product that I use in this video or any previous videos, it will be in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out and I have full detail of everything for you guys. So guys, I just got home and this is my very basic everyday makeup, which I try to keep it more on the natural side. It's just like a very light foundation and concealer. Uh, with a little bit of blush and also a coat of mascara and that's about it and some obviously highlighter just to give that extra glow but usually this is what it is so today I'm going to be skipping over my face makeup and just going straight to kind of an eyeshadow um, tutorial and excuse my hair <laughs> I found this really really cute hair tie and it's kind of like a telephone cord and I always saw my friends wearing it. I was like, what the hell is that? It probably doesn't even hold anything. But it's actually doing such a good job. And when you take it out, it doesn't even leave an imprint in your hair as if like a regular hair tie would. So it's super good. I am grabbing my Morphe palette in 35K, this one. And I'm just going to uh, grab this shade over here. Do, do, do. And we're just going to be putting that in my crease, both on the right end and the left lid. The left, what do you call it? Lid. <laughs> so just the corners here and then the corners here. I'm just using this brush over here. It's wide when you look at it front ways and thin on the side. And it does kind of have like a fluffy but it's more like a if you want to blend somewhere that's more what do you call it specific and it upwards had to redo my hair and then we're just gonna darken that a little bit And then I am grabbing this shade over here. It's such a beautiful, I would say more on the golden um, shimmers. Oh my God, my mom's like playing piano right now. And it's probably not the best time for her to be doing her practicing right now. But she's so cute that I don't wanna take it away from her. So please excuse that Persian song in the background. So I'm grabbing a flat brush like this. And on the side it's thin and then it is very flat and it's pretty thin too. It's perfect for when you want to pick up a lot of pigment. And then I'm just going to run it right down. Or on this side, doesn't matter. I want to intensify the corners more. blend it. So I'm taking a more tapered brush like this one and I'm going in with this dark shadow over here and I'm just going to draw a little half circle. Actually I'm going in with the black over here. I don't think it's dark enough. And then like a line over here to kind of define, yeah. I've actually never done this look. So I am beyond winging it right now. I've actually seen just photos of people like have this makeup look and I was just always like, hey, I want that. So this is absolutely 
my first time. I'm grabbing this one over here, by the way, and I'm just gonna, uh, what do you call it, fluff that out. So this video, if it's no bueno, we are getting rid of it and you will never see it. <laughs> and I'm just lightly connecting the top here. Yeah, just fading it out. Cute. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. And then I am going to, oh my God, I just freaked out for one second. I thought the record button had not been pressed and I was like, because <laughs> I've done that plenty of times, so many times so that, <laughs> yeah, anyways, <laughs> I am going in with this shade over here, grabbing this tapered brush that we grabbed. I think it's called a pencil brush actually. Hold on, let me put me in focus more. We're just going to be connecting that to the corner there. And then, so I brought this all the way here to almost the corner, but not fully. And then we are grabbing this shit, this this brush, the flat one that we could pick up the pigment. And then we are going back in with this shimmery shade over here. And I'm just going to plug that right in the inner tear dot. Intensify this a little more. We're going to now grab an inner eyeliner, any one that you have that you can line your inner, what do you call it, with. And then we're just going to run that above. And now if you are not wearing um, mascara, now is the time where you curl your lashes and then put on some mascara and then you come back and then this is going to be the next step. So if you haven't, pause right now. Now I'm grabbing my Revlon uh, Color Stay Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just going to be lining my eyes and I'm going to do them in a cat eye shape. So it's going to be like a winged eyeliner. Um, and then I am going to put on another layer of mascara. If you also do have um, sparkles, like a white sparkly style um, eyeshadow, you can always tap it over that and it would really make it more dramatic. Okay, now I'm going to do the other eye and I will be right back. And voila, we are done with this look. Before I get into explaining the look, I just want to form a complaint to Bare Minerals, their pressed foundation. Um, it looks like this. I was told that if I use this, I'm not going to have any greasiness on my face. It's going to keep my face super matte. It's going to get rid of my pores. All of that good stuff that you want to hear as a person who has a little bit of oily skin, especially in the T-zone. And honestly, within 20 minutes, this is what I get. And you guys saw from the beginning of the video, it was totally matte. Everything looked fine. And this is only 20 minutes later. So I suggest that people who do have oily skin do not get this whatsoever. It makes you actually look even more oily. And this is not my first time experiencing this. And to those who are looking for a foundation that is good to give you a glow, this is the one. Because honestly, I just put it on and look, I'm just going to take this away so you guys see how well it tricks you at the beginning. And then you'll see what happened. This is what I wanted and clearly this is not what I have now. Yeah, see it's perfect at the, at the beginning. Every time I put this on, I go out and then... I touch my face and I'm like, holy, there's so much oil on there. So like I said, if you have dry skin and you want that glow, please get this because it's going to be a perfect product for you. 
look. I hate that. Honestly, nothing more annoying than using all this powder and it goes and it just goes to waste. So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. I try to simplify it as much as I can so that it's doable for people who aren't very comfortable with uh, you know, eyeshadows and different looks because they don't like to explore. But I hope that you guys can see how easy it was and that you do give it a try so you can just kind of step out of your comfort zone. Aside from that, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And please don't hesitate to request different things that you guys want to see from me. Until next time.